In a closed loop control system, we saw for a fact that we provide a feedback element from the output to the input. But what are the types of feedback that we can provide in a closed loop control system? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What are the types of feedbacks that we can provide to a closed loop control system? Well, what's that out? So a typical control system would look somewhat like this. It would have an input signal, say R of S, and when an input signal is given, it will provide an output signal C of S. Here, the gain of this particular control system is given as G. And now, in a closed loop control system, we would provide a feedback like this. So now, here, let a feedback of, say, H be provided over here. And now, when we provide this feedback over here, when we provide it back to this particular signal, Two things can happen over here. Either this signal can be added, that is, either the feedback can be added over here or the feedback can be subtracted over here. So based on this, there are two types of feedbacks that can be provided. First one is a positive feedback and the second one is negative feedback. It's self-explanatory. That is, in a case of a positive feedback, here we are adding this particular feedback along with whatever signal we are giving here. But rather, in the case of a negative feedback, here we are subtracting whatever feedback element that we are giving over here. So, let's see the case in both of this. First, let us see the case of a positive feedback. So, in the case of a positive feedback, we are adding this particular signal. Whatever we are getting is being added over here. So therefore, here in the feedback, this particular output signal C of S will be going like this. And when this C of S passes through this particular H, we'll get H into C of S. And now this H into C of S is added with this particular input signal R of S and is passed through this particular gain G. So therefore, the output signal C of S is obtained as C of S is equal to this particular signal which is H into C of S plus this particular signal which is R of S, the whole into G. Because the sum of these two are passed through this particular control system having a gain of G. Now on expanding this, we would get C of S is equal to G H into C of S plus G into R of S. Now taking C of S onto this side, we get, we get C of S into 1 minus G H is equal to G into R of S. But but, but, but a transfer function is given as the ratio of the output signal to the input signal. That is C of S by R of S. Therefore, from this particular equation, we get the transfer function T of S is equal to C of S by R of S as G divided by 1 minus G H. This is the transfer function in the case of a control system having a positive feedback. As simple as that guys, as simple as this, there's nothing more to it. That is, this particular output signal is provided as a feedback to this particular system to the input. So therefore, as it is passed through H, this particular C of S gets multiplied with H and we obtain H into C of S. This is then added over here with R of S and the combination of this, that is the sum of this, is then passed through G. So therefore, we write that over here and on simplifying this and obtaining the transfer function which is T of S is equal to C of S by R of s, we get t of s is equal to g divided by 1 minus g h. Next, let us see the case where rather than adding this, we are subtracting the feedback element, that is a negative feedback. So here, rather than adding the feedback element, we are subtracting the feedback element. So here, the output signal c of s will be passed through the feedback and now over here, we would get h into c of s and this h into c of s is sub from this particular R of S and it is passed through this particular G and we obtain an output C of S. So therefore this output is given as C of S is equal to R of S minus H into C of S the whole into G. So therefore on expanding this we would get C of S is equal to R of S into G minus H into C of S into G. G and therefore because we have C of S common here taking the C of S terms to this particular side we would get C of S into 
1 plus gh is equal to g into r of s and therefore the transfer function is given as c of s divided by r of s therefore t of s is equal to c of s divided by r of s which is equal to g divided by 1 plus gh this is the transfer function in the case of a system having a negative feedback as simple as that guys as simple as this there's nothing more to it so therefore these thus are the two types of feedbacks that we can provide to a closed loop control system as simple as that guys there's nothing more to it so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what the two types of feedbacks that are provided in a control system are and if you guys found this video informative please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i see you guys in the next video thank you